Welcome back to my channel. It is me, Curly K. Glam, and I'm here today to bring you part two of um, the video with these braids. Part one was me telling you all about my install and basically giving you my mini review of the hair. This video will be all about how I maintenance my braids and what products I use on my braids to help, you know, of course, help me maintain them. And show you like my little nighttime routine that I do um, when I do wear these braids, okay? So first off, I wanna start with the products that I use on my scalp for maintenance and the products that I use on my extensions for maintenance. And I have four things to show you guys today. So today I will show you um, olive oil. I know this says do grow oil. I did have some in here, but now I just basically use this bottle for my olive oil. And I use extra virgin olive oil. I think I did purchase that from um, Walmart. I did, I purchased it from Walmart. And I basically just use this nozzle to go um, throughout my scalp and oil my scalp. Also, it's not up here because I forgot to bring it, but I do use the wild growth oil in um, the yellow bottle, which I probably go, I probably run back and get it throughout this video. And um, also on my edges, I use um, the Jamaican black castor oil and it's from um, Jamaican, is it Jamaican, Jamaican, what's his brand, Rasta, no, it's Jamaican mango and lime, Jamaican mango and lime, but it's the Jamaican black castor oil and it's mixed with peppermint oil, I put that on my edges because you know, edges are important y'all, and you know sometimes with braids, y'all, your edges can get dehydrated from the scarf and everything rubbing, so my thing is just to, you know, um, Make sure you take care of your edges. Your edges are important. Also, before I go into um, whatever I put on my hair. Sorry, y'all. Um, I would say if you are sensitive to braiding hair, please remember to dip your hair in apple cider vinegar to remove that cask, that cask off the hair, the white stuff. Also, it makes it easier to um, section the hair off and then it also makes it easier for the install. And of course, also that will also, you know, interfere with your maintenance as well because if the um, coating that they put on the hair bothers your scalp and gives it irritation, you're not gonna keep the braids as long. One thing I use on my scalp, and I did show this in all of my braid hair videos and I'm still using it, I'm probably on my third or fourth bottom, is this Rasta Lock and Twist braid spray and I always get the methylated one because this um is their version of the medicated spray they have a spray without menthol methylate methylated they have a spray without methanol and then they have a spray with methanol and I just like the way this product smells because I am like a herbal scented you know person I like herbal smells and so I like the way this smells also I can vouch that if you spray this on your hair let's let me see. It says spray entire head, lift locks, and spray scalp and massage. Repeat twice daily. Now, when I first started using it, I did, you know, randomly spray it on my hair, but I spray it on my hair almost every day. I don't spray it on it twice a day, but I spray it on it every day, and it does help minimize with itching. And the um peppermint that they use in that spray helps, you know, keep your hair moisturized, and it also is a lightweight, non-greasy formula. So it doesn't leave your scalp bogged down with buildup. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, with braids, I don't keep my braids no longer than a month. But I know there are some people out there who do keep their braids um, six weeks to two months and sometimes even longer. And I think this is the perfect thing to keep your hair from breaking. I mean, not from breaking, but from itching. When I first installed my braids, you know, when you install curly hair, it is like very full, voluminous. And sometimes you can look like a lion. I just simply, to keep my ends and my curls intact, I use this Vigoral Mousse. And I found out about this Vigoral Mousse when I first, first, first started watching Beauty Can Braid. This is like the number one and only mousse I've seen her use on her clients. It is an alcohol-free mousse, which means that it does not leave that sticky feeling 
on um on your hair and you know that sometimes causes your hair to mat even more because with this with this kind of hair it is going to mat it's going to mat it's going to tangle but if you use this on your hair to help maintain and to help you know tame down the curls it um it helps you know with the overall process and like I said, it doesn't have, it doesn't leave that sticky feeling like um, your regular beauty supply store mousses, if they're not alcohol free, will leave. This one I got is enriched with macadamia oil, but they do have one that comes in a, a silver and pink bottle, and then they have a green bottle, which is olive oil. So I've used this one, and I've used the olive oil one, but I have not used one in the pink bottle. I, I don't know what scent that is, but it's very inexpensive. You can probably find this online on Diva Trust or Sam's Beauty or something like that. And then um, also find it at your local beauty supply store. And last but not least is this wet and wavy spray. It is frizz free detangling spray. And with this curly hair, y'all, when you use bulk hair to braid and when you use it to um, crochet braid, your hair can get really tangled um, throughout you know the course of the time that you're wearing it and this is just a detangling spray that helps detangle that way you ain't got to like rip through your hair to detangle your hair um and it says it does tame frizz but if you want the extra you know tameage i will use the mousse but this is great on synthetic hair it says it's good for synthetic and human hair but i only use it on my synthetic curly hair i even use it on my synthetic curly wigs to help detangle my synthetic curly wigs but it also says it is alcohol free, it has a nice spell, and it gives a light mist. If you can see that, nothing too much. This is a staple. I've been using this on my hair since I first started wearing crochet braids, and I highly recommend that product. I do use a little edge control on my edges every now and then, but I do not put edge control on my hair every day just for the sake of me not wanting to create buildup along my hairline. And because I want to get the full wear out of my braids, especially since I spent two days putting them in my head. I want to be able to get the full wear out of my out of my braids. And as you can see, I think I did a good job. This was my first time braiding my hair in probably a year since last summer. Um, yes, y'all, those are all the products that I use on my hair. Um as you know, like I said, I use the olive oil and the um, wild growth oil. The wild growth oil has a very herbal smell, so and it's strong. So if you're not used to those type of smells and you don't like that, I wouldn't recommend that spray for your braids because, you know, braids hold odor. Braids hold odor. And if you do not um, like strong smells, I would not recommend. It's one more product that I forgot. Hold right, hold right here. Y'all, I, I went in the bathroom to get this last product, but I also picked up the items that I told y'all that I wanted y'all to see. So here is my um, Jamaican mango and lime um, oil, Jamaican black castor oil that I put on my edges every day. And also, here's the wild growth oil that I use. I have gone through multiple bottles of these. But last but not least, this product I just started using on my hair, and I don't use it that often. I only use it. When my hair has been in for a while, like, and I even use it on my scalp when I wear wigs, is the Dark and Love You, Love You, the Dark and Lovely All Natural um, Length Retention Refreshing Scalp Cleanser. It's the recipe for, for protective styles, and this fragrance is jojoba and peppermint, and this is what it looks like, and this is just a scalp cleansing spray. So when you feel like your, um, when you feel like your braids have been in for a while and your hair is starting to get irritated, um, I use this spray on my hair. It doesn't, it says it has peppermint in it. It doesn't give the tingling sensation like the um, mango spray does, the um, methylated spray does, but it has an interesting smell. It doesn't stink, but it has like a, a, a plant-based smell, you know what I'm saying? And... 
like I said, I don't use it a lot. I only use it when I feel like my scalp just needs a quick boost, a quick refresher. I do recommend this. I bought this off Diva Trace. I don't know how much it costs, but I'm all for sprays. And with this kind of nozzle, when you have braids, it's easier um, to use in comparison to like something like this where you, where you have to go through all these different parts to get to your scalp. It's just easy to spray the spots that are itching and then you just basically massage it and you know get let it get down in the follicles to stimulate it to help you know free you of your irritation before this video gets way too long let me just go ahead and show you what i do to my hair so basically i wrap my hair two ways i split my hair in half and i twist my hair in the direction that the curls go so see if you're looking the curls go in this direction, so this is the way that I twist my hair. And it don't have to be neat because this is just to keep the, the curls in pattern. And then I take my jumbo bonnet and I just crisscross my hair up like this and I put my jumbo bonnet on my head and y'all can pick up your jumbo bonnet from your local beauty supply store but um, this is where I found mine at, at least but this is it and then for extra security and for my edges, because you know sometimes this band on your bonnet can rub, I take a triangle scarf and I put that on my head like this. And then I go to bed. I know some people don't like stuff tied up around their head, but for me, this just keeps my hair in place and keeps it, you know, from moving throughout the night. Secondly, if I don't do it like that, because you know, some nights I don't feel like twisting my hair. So I take my hair out like this. And I just, you know, whip my hair. Put it in a simple bun like I had it. Do it like this. Put my bonnet on. And this time I take my large triangle scarf and I pineapple it. And then I, I go to bed like this. That way also my hair doesn't move, the bonnet doesn't move. And I don't have to worry about, you know, my braids get tangled and, you know, um, tangled and frizzy on my pillowcases. Because I do not sleep with um, satin pillowcases. I sleep with regular, you know, cotton, you know, pillowcases. But yes, y'all, that's how I maintenance my hair. And that's all I think I have for you guys today. So please be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think about my braids. If you have any questions or if you what um you know if you have any hairs you would recommend me to try for these braids next. Or if you um have any, you know, brands that you like to braid with, you know, let me know all that. Drop down in the comments, let me know, and I'll be back with more videos. Deuces.